Hi, I'm Anthony. Hi, I'm Australia. Hi, I'm George. Hi, my name is Abby. We all have one thing in common, a condition called EB. Here's a doctor to explain it. EB stands for epidermolysis bullosa, and this is a genetic skin disease, which means this is a disease that you're born with. You can't catch this like the flu. And the easiest way to think about EB is to think about your skin like the grass in your front lawn. So the green part of the grass that you and I can see is similar to like the epidermis, which is the top layer of skin that you and I can see on our bodies. The deeper layer of skin that you and I can't see, that's called the dermis, and that's similar to the dirt that's underneath your grass in your front lawn. Well, just like the grass in your front lawn hangs on to the dirt with roots, the skin does the same thing. There are roots in your skin that keep the epidermis attached to the dermis. People with epidermolysis bullosa don't have any roots. So if grass in your front lawn didn't have any roots, you could just go and take a piece of grass right off very, very easily. And the same thing happens in the skin. So if there's any pulling, you can actually tear the epidermis away from the dermis. And that's because there are no roots in the skin to keep the top layer to the bottom layer. That's the easiest way to think about EB. Kids with EB wear lots of bandages to protect their skin, so we look a little different. She's, she's not actually different. She's just like other kind of the best friend. She's really nice and very trustful. She's always fun, she's funny, and she's just like any other kid. Yeah, I remember when I first met Anna, I saw her skin conditions and I thought, well, there's someone that I think I would like to be a friend with. You can't judge a book by its cover, and if you really get to know her, she's really nice. Even though she has skin problems, she's still another kid. She's still a kid. She is no different than anyone else. Some people think since we look different on the outside, we're not normal. So we sent out our own Mythbusters to find out. The first question we ask is, what do you like to do for fun? And what's your favorite thing to do in your spare time? Play video games. I like to read in my spare time. Sleep. I like to ride my horses. Here's another myth, that EB is contagious. EB is not something you're going to catch from anybody else. Uh, it's, uh, uh, you know, somebody's going to get sick if you, you know, touch that person or you know, hug that person. That myth is busted. They're just fragile people. Uh, one of the terms that the uh, EB support groups use is the butterfly children, because they're sort of as fragile as a, as a butterfly. Remember the doctor talking about our skin not having any roots? That sometimes means that we need a little help. Sometimes I need help opening apple juice. Sometimes I need help opening cans or bottles. I need help opening doors and drawers. Getting from place to place sometimes I need help. I would have some advice. I would say that you should be careful not to bump into them because if you bump into them, they can be hurt really easily. To be really careful because um, she's sensitive, her skin is, and um, just be really nice and kind. Make sure like no one pushes her or anything because then she could get blisters. Treat them like a real person and, and not make fun of them. And and just try to be a good friend. You know, they're like every other kid. They yearn for a good friend. They yearn to be part of a group. Um, they don't want to be singled out. They don't want to feel different than everybody else. And with the appearance of their skin, they always feel different. So um, incorporating them into a group, into the group activity, into the group psyche, is, is probably the thing that I think they probably want more than anything, is they want to be part of. Well, thanks for watching our video. I hope you learned something about EB. And if you have any questions, just ask us. See you at school.
see you later. See you at school. See you then.